I'm Susie Scott, Deputy Commanding Officer at Madigan Army Medical Center. Ever since I was a kid, I have been fascinated with how things work. I always want to see what's going on under the lid. Even simple things hide a lot of complexity. Being a Colonel here at Madigan affords me the opportunity to see behind the scenes of a big medical facility. You wouldn't believe how cool it is. Today I'm exploring warrior care. How Madigan takes care of service members who are dealing with injury or illness. Recovery and transition, that's what the Intrepid Spirit Center is all about. Do you want to come see how Madigan works? Hello ma'am. Hi, good to see you. Welcome to our new Madigan Intrepid Spirit Center. My name is Major Camrat and this is Specialist Odell. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too ma'am. Now, I know that you came to our new center today to see what we're doing to help service members uh, struggle with the challenges uh, and changes that they face uh, in active duty life. And although we have many staff members who'd be happy to give you such an introduction, nobody is uh, more qualified to show you around and teach you about what we do than Specialist Odell. Great. Would you mind showing me around? Yeah, I can show you around, man. Thanks. Um, over here. So right here, ma'am, is a, um, it's, an, it's an exercise game where it helps you when you're in physical therapy, it'll, it'll help you be able to work on the balancing. There'll be different positions that you can do, like you'll have to um, sometimes just keep your feet together or okay. just be on one foot and you go back and forth. And what you'll have to do once you do that, you'll have the tennis balls and then you'll, stand, you'll be on one foot, you'll have to hit the light. There's only one light at a time that will go, like if you hit the light, it will go off. There we go. And then it will move over. So you have to keep aiming for it. <laughs> okay, may I try? Yeah, absolutely. You can try it, ma'am. All right, let's see. So one foot. Mm -hmm. You're going to do one foot and your foot close together. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's like pretty competitive, though. It's like, but it's really fun. <laughs> but it helps you a lot. Oh, yay. Okay. <laughs> I can see where that can be uh, challenging and definitely work both your core and yeah. your balance. Yeah, so. absolutely. Tell me about the therapy you received in this room. Um, the therapy I had was occupational therapy. They helped really good with, um, with coordination and memory, uh, being able to like, live the lifestyles again um, to work through that one. Um, this machine, it was good to help with the coordination Mm -hmm. and like the visual and all that because there'll be usually lights that will come up on here and you'll have to tap it and you have to use uh, both hands but you, whatever goes on the left you have to use, push it with your right hand whatever goes on the right side you have to push it with your left hand and then it'll help with the memory part really good because on this little screen right here there'll be a number that would go up and you'll have to say the number that you saw while you're doing the multitasking coordination Makes you really put it all together then. Yeah, oh, definitely fan does. Fantastic. These are incredible masks here in the art therapy room, and yours is fantastic. Tell me why you have two. Um, I have two masks because um, cause how I see it is people wear a mask. There's not just one face, there's two faces. And how, I, like right here, um, this one was pretty much about everything mixed in. And not, it's like not just me, but there's like even other people like, that are going through a lot of the same thing. It's not just me. How I say it, it's like this terminology kind of thing. Like if a dog sees a squirrel, it's like squirrel and they'll turn around and they'll just go opposite way. And people, how I see that is like, it's easy to get sidetracked over everything. Things can just pop up and then they'll get distracted doing something else instead of fixing what the main problem was and is. And then I really like this phrase on the top too, because we can be given, uh, we can give you your day back. Uh, what you do with it is up to you. And that's how I see a lot of things. Like, you can be able to uh, redeem like your lifestyle back. You can be able to keep doing great, keep moving forward in a lot of things. But based off on how you want to do it, it's pretty much all up to you. 
So tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm, I'm Specialist Odell. I've been in the Army for five years. Uh, I was in a, um, a transportation company. Um, I'm a 91 Charlie, which is a, a utilities equipment repair for ACs and heaters. Uh, after a while of being in my old company, I am getting transferred over to uh, the Warriors Transition Battalion. So how did you end up here at the Intrepid Spirit Center? In April of 2017, I had a car accident um, where my car flipped off of the I-5 and it landed upside down. And then I crawled out of my front windshield and then a school bus came and hit me with my own car. And then after I got hit by my car, um, I don't know if I was between my car and the school bus or under the school bus, but I got dragged 80 feet and I ended up getting a, a, a traumatic brain injury from all that. Um, I was hospitalized for f four months in two different hospitals. So we, you've had a lot of therapy here at the Intrepid Spirit Center. What's been the most challenging part of that? Um, I would say the, the physical therapy because um, we, we worked on a lot of like endurance and like the balance and there, there was times where I like knew what I was able to do before and um, it was one of those I just kept trying to push hard for it. it. It like made me kind of like have to take a step back but like it's baby steps. I need to kind of slow down a little bit, you know, just let things happen. Take things one day at a time. Yeah. What's been the most rewarding part of your recovery? It pretty much show you like, don't take life and for granted kind of thing. Oh, like it's like you're like reborn. It's like a reward to be able to like relearn new things. It's like you're relearning new things, but it's like stuff that you had before. But it'll like bring it back to you, and you're able to just keep going like, like a new beginning. Like, it'll, it'll kind of keep you smiling a little bit because, like, you know, I have a second chance to be able, whatever goals I had or whatever, like, whatever I would, like, have to mind, I'll, like, push forward to it. Like, I won't hold back. I'll just do it. What's one piece of advice you give to the next soldier that's coming in behind you into the center? That to keep moving forward. Like, even though... It's a hard time, and like eventually things that is hard, it will get softer. And just keep moving forward, just keep pushing through it all, because things will be all right. Like everything is gonna be all right. Just keep going with it. In the in the long run, it's it's gonna be good. Like you'll have you'll get to relearn things. Like it'll come back to you. Just like everything is gonna be all right. What's next for you? I'm getting um, med boarded out of the of the military, and um, the, my next step is pretty much uh, be a good father because I have a, a two year old, and he's t he's still young, so he has a lot to learn, and I just uh, want to be by his side more. Like instead of like working how I used to do, like it was like I was like kind of in and out of his life from all the times I worked and all that, and like. I'm able to like now, like be there by his side, show him life pretty much. Um, like let him know like everything is gonna be all right. Like take the baby steps kind of thing and make everything move forward. Like be by his side and everything. Sounds like you're gonna take a lot of the lessons that you learned here in, in the recovery process that you've had and apply them to life and teaching him going forward in the future as well. Yes. That's pretty incredible. Thank you, Special Still. You're welcome, man. And thank you for joining me. Next time I'll show you how another part of Madigan works. <laughs>